but they did uh, uh, go through a very dramatic case of dropping our boats down in the ocean and the troops came down the side of the ship and filled up our boats and we headed for the beach. Well, I was very apprehensive at first, of course, because you hear all these stories. Um, uh, the uh, One of the rumors, of course, that went around from the beginning was that uh, uh, coxswains, because you stood up on your boat, you had to be on your feet uh, to see where you were going. Everybody else is down on laying on their stomachs and on their knees. So uh, many of them didn't come home. Uh, so you knew that was going to happen. Uh, but you don't fear something that you don't really know about. You just do what you're told and you plowed in there. So that um, the first shock of uh, was that we ran into the coral reefs. Well, of course, we go plowing in there, and then all of a sudden it's like hitting a wall, and you're still a long ways from the beach. And um, uh, unfortunately, uh, we went in at low tide, uh, so the, the coral reefs were right on the surface, so that uh, they're not a solid wall, they're like mountains, so you work your way around through these coral reefs to try to get to the beach. And uh, you finally get to a point where you can't go any further, uh, and your boat is hung up, and um, so you, you drop the ramp, and, uh, but in the meantime, uh, the planes above are bombing, There's the uh, Hellcats are strafing, uh, the beaches, the ships behind you are shooting their shells over your head onto the, onto the beach. And of course, the closer you get to the beach, the distance between your head and those shells gets shorter and shorter. And you can actually see them go by you. And when they, they hit the beach, they explode. So you got a wall of fire in front of you. And of course, the Japanese are in their pillboxes and they're, they're shooting their shells out at you, so the water around you is, it's, uh, it's like it's raining. So that uh, you go into the beach as far as you can go, and then finally you, you just drop your ramp and yell at the guys, to gung ho, get out of the boat. I'll see you, <laughs> Hawaii. Get out of here, and they go plowing out into the water. Uh, with no idea what they're going to run into. Most of them dropped down into water that came practically up to their waist or their, their uh, neck uh, in this coral. And walking on the coral, if you've been out there and done any swimming or snorkeling in Hawaii, you know that you can go for two feet and it'll drop to ten. Uh, so a lot of them would, would work around and then they would just disappear into the water. Uh, and uh, of course, they're shooting ducks for the Japanese uh, with the machine gunners. Uh, and, uh, but at the time, uh, as a coxswain, uh, you've done your job, you roll up your ramp, and you try to work your way back out through the coral to get the heck out of there. Uh, the guys you dropped off on the beach, since I happened to be in the first wave, uh, I don't think any of them ever made it to the beach. Uh, but it was bloody. It, it was uh, when you opened your ramp, and the machine guns are coming right in, and these guys are running out into it. Uh, it was it was a horrible thing.